Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Wake and Bake. I'm Canada Dave. And I'm Groovy. Today, we are going fi- to uh, start talking about our uh, finishing up our conversation from last week. We were uh, talking about brands, deals, uh, what's your favorite dispo, what's your not, what's your favorite 
uh, brand out there. What's your favorite strain? What's your least favorite one? Um, so this morning we want to talk about getting people deals, get the good brands out there, the brands you're not liking. Let's talk about those as well too. Um, so we're gonna be talking brands Yo. and dispos. That's Yo, good morning, y'all. What is going on? Sorry, I just got a little situated. I want to say hello. Hey, good morning, John. What's up? Hey, and Danny. A Dr- and a Drew. Morning, yo. Good and, morning for being first. And number dude. first. Hashtag first. I like it, dude. And top of the morning to you as well, Drew. Oh, yeah. Zach, what's up, brother? My boy Jezik, if you didn't hear it last week, or did, was that Turk? That was Turp Talk Tuesdays. We played. Yep. I played Jezik's music. Um, always trying to support some local homies on the music thing, because if you don't know, I'm a producer as well. I do like a funky EDM thing. Um, DJ live improvised performance type of thing hence the improv jazz shirt um big shout out to my boy eli dayton uh one of the founders of squad records me and some homies like starting the squad uh if you're into local music that was him on the intro um local just local artists he produces hip-hop beats trap music all that stuff checking out eli skating i put it on the intro or on the lower third but we'll play it later but again if you ever know anyone that does local music or any musicians listening right now Please send them either to Groovy or my can of cast and just have them send their music over because I love playing local musicians, artists, and the, and the streams and stuff. So appreciate y'all. And oh yeah, Drew's uh Drew's hitting the bong himself. About to hit some pur- purple garlic, man. You really like that purple garlic, man. That shit. That, I really want to smoke it just as much as you because it's it smokes nice. White ash or trash? Yeah, already. Yeah, bringing already. it out. I like it. I like already. it a lot. I like it already. I, I'm just gonna throw that. I'm leaving it there. That's it. It's just it's, that's the only comment that matters now. <laughs> Everyone's rolling up and smoking. I think groovy. We need to roll up and smoke right now too, dude. We gotta obviously. Uh, we're gonna obviously. be smoking on some rainbow chip this morning. You wanna? Oh, he's pouring over there. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, cool. Yeah, we'll be smoking on this. We'll smoke this. Yeah, one. I'm gonna. I'll pull up some dabs too. I got these. There's not much left on these dabs, but um, I'm just some pink cookies. Stuff that I got from uh, um, uh, Fuego. Oh, you want to show the flower? Yeah, there's the bud. What are we smoking on? Uh, Rainbow chip. Rainbow chip. That's that fire by Exotic Genetics. Yeah, rocking that hoodie too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, yeah. And then this last dab is actually, um, God, what is this? Oh, this is, uh, cla- what is this called? Classic Roots. Uh, okay, stuff. Well, I mean, we'll get into reviews later and more about that stuff. But, you know, I just always try new brands. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. Let's, and again, what's up, Craven Bay? Because I know a bunch of y'all out there. <laughs> so. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Craven, for sharing it. Getting the Craven Bake rolling. You know, I know you guys, everyone's probably half you guys are Craven Baking right now. Um, <laughs> but this is the, uh, we're about to roll up, dab up, and uh, let's get talking groovy on brands, uh, genetics. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> I had to do it because I said it real quick at the beginning, but you didn't catch it. So I'm just going to do that now before we get, like, balls deep. IG, there. we are live on IG now. We're live. <laughs> God, I keep forgetting. No, it's like, because that's the one that doesn't come from the computer, and we've been having issues trying to get, like, the full live audio with the interface I have. So we're just, we always do behind the scenes. If you want to just kind of see what it's like, it's like listening to us without all this fancy stuff, check us out. Yeah, IG. you'll get to see the production, so I don't... I, you know, it's like the back end, but I love the production that Groovy's uh, doing. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, hey John, just smoking on some Gorilla Glue and some sauce. Is the sauce glue too? Ooh, and man, there's nothing. I I listen. When I first started getting the dabs, I remember I was like, you know, oh, I want live resin. I want the strongest stuff, you know, because of course everyone THC. Now like sauce and a good batter, you can get some really high terpenes on there when they're in that 60, 75, whatever area, that like sixty to seventies. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just a whole different thing. Groovy, you definitely got to give Zach some of your music, throw on his podcast, man. Just oh, yeah, comment. Zach, yeah, we should do that. Like, I mean, honestly, and st- hey, add Funk into the best to your SoundCloud, man. <laughs> like, I know you're listening, <laughs> like, right now. So add that, because I looked at your profile the other day, and I couldn't play both of our songs. Play our song. Put our song there, please. And then uh, he's got some mimosa butter with some Durban Ooh. flour. Durban poison. That's one of those, uh, those. what's it called? It's one of the older strains. What do we call I know, but we just had a name. Land uh, Race. Land Racers. Land, Land racers, they racers. <laughs> Land racers. Land racer. I'm thinking speed racer. Speed, speed racer. racer. Speed right. racer. Right. Uh, but yeah, he's got a podcast to my boy Jezik and his buddy Zach, camera guy Zach, I believe his name is. I can't remember on Instagram, but Millennial Wasteland. If you're in the podcast, they're they're they remind me of American Slacker podcast right now, where they have more you know topics that they will talk about just all over the place and just stuff that's relatable. So check it out. I always love supporting you know local homies. He's from Michigan, but they're out in Pennsylvania right now. So yeah, support local, buy local. Uh, 
If you're if you in, can, yeah, you know. If you're in Michigan, I'll give a quick plug to one of my friends. Uh, he runs the Glove MI. It's a Michigan business where he's supporting local, buying local. Uh, so you should follow that on Facebook. It's the Glove MI. It's all about supporting local, uh, Michigan businesses. So about to roll this up. Let's spark it up, Groovy. Um, and let, let's see what you guys got to say. I'm curious on what um, dispos you guys are liking. If you are even going to the dispos, what brands are you liking? What ones are you not enjoying? You know, I mean, there's a there's a couple brands, couple dispos that me and Groovy would go to that we usually like. You know? Oh yeah, no, I mean like. So we'll kick it off with that, Groovy. What, what's what's one of the brands that you're usually going to, or I should I say dispo? And then to what's up, everyone on IG? Thank you for tuning in. Y'all. Good morning. Um, so the thing is, like I always say, I don't always like to say my favorite dispensary because especially now a lot of days there's just like different types. Like there's the type where you walk up to the counter. There's the type where you have like the, I call it the California setup where it's more open island. My big thing about dispensaries nowadays is that it really comes down to convenience because maybe five, ten years ago, like it was hard to find a dispo. And when you found a dispo, you went to that dispo because it was like hard enough to even find. Yep. Now there's so many and they're all running deals like – Thank you. I I love Weed Maps. I mean, not not even giving a plug or anything by any means of Weed Maps. But if you're listening, we'll we'll do sponsorships. We can run ads if you want. But <laughs> <laughs> we are in the market. <laughs> We're trying to run ads. So if anyone's got business out there, professional LLCs, they'll reach out to us. We're affordable. We'll figure it out. We're trying to get more into advertising, like these professional radio stations. But um, yeah, we'll promote you, and uh, we can work out. But I zone out. I swear, it's just about convenience. And now I happen to love like the Reef on Eight Mile, but that's because it's it's in my drive. It's convenient for me. It's in between my family's house and your place and you know where i live so it's just like you I, know what i mean i like the reef i've been in the reef i've gone in the reef though for years um yeah, yeah. before they not before they went wrecked before but they switch i mean before they even <laughs> had like the dab counter in the center <clears throat> you know yeah we bit yeah they, you know? dude the reef I mean, was I one of the five good ones and dime too but again, five and times like hidden because that, it's right behind cookies, and they got great deals. <laughs> like if you're a wax person, you're like looking for great deals. Like they do three for hundreds all the time, like multiple stuff. Now, granted, you're not talking like ninety eight percent THCA or you know unique genetics like cookies or Monster X. Sometimes will bring to the table, but but I mean like you're, they're great. Like I mean I got this. This was uh I think this was actually oh my god some type of glue. I forget what glue. And that was pink cookies, and I got them that one and another one three for a hundred. So like on the wax, that's not bad. Anything, that's not bad. No, no. And I, what I'm gonna recommend is literally check your deals. Like, yes, there's some dispensaries to me. Like Five and Dime does not have a lot. Of, they like, don't variety. have a lot of flour though. When I went, well, unless they do when even, you went, there's just not a lot of variety to be at all. But my whole point is like it. You know, but I still will go there because they have great deals. You know what I mean? So it's like hard for me. It's like what are you looking for? And then you have to pick your dispo because like. I can't just be like, oh, this is the best dispo. Because, like, dude, I mean, most dispos, I can find something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel bad for Five and Dime, like we were saying, because uh, Cookies is right there. The only thing, though, with Cookies, though, is they got, they got it's Cookies, but it is a little bit pricey. So no, absolutely. If, you, if you haven't been, I know they're opening up in Kalamazoo, I think, today, if I'm not mistaken. They're opening up in Kalamazoo. Um, white cookies. Ash Gang. Or White Ash or Trash. White Ash or white Trash. Ash. White Ash or Trash, baby. <laughs> 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 Uh, no ashtray. Hell yeah. I ain't got an ashtray. Right, cool, cool, cool. I got a couple, actually. Oh, snap. Look at you, man. Stepping on my game. I like it. I my like it. My ashtray game? I don't know. Um, another <laughs> dispo that I that I like uh, would probably be like your green farm I've been to. They usually have a nice variety. Um, some brands that I dig for concentrates would definitely be... Um, See, Nick's on the same tip as me. I'm sorry to cut you off, my man, but he literally just Groovy's always exact. coming off, so it's all right. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's kind of like the thing in the podcast. We just cut each other off. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Pratt just says it really comes down to which dense breeze closest to you. And, like, I think that has to do with convenience, man. I say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> wow, these genetics. I miss this. Rainbow chip. Fire. Anxiety, Nick's, man. You are awesome. <laughs> um... I mean, I, I was like, hey, I'm going to wear that today. No, it's good. Because it, yesterday it was nice out. So to me, it's like, oh, my God, are we about to hit, are we about to hit spring? And then it's going to be like 20 in a week. I know. Dude, but I it's, know. it was so nice. So I was like, I'm going to rock the hoodie because I won't be rocking hoodies soon. Because, you know, Michigan weather, once it's 50 degrees, everyone's in T-shirts and shorts. <laughs> Pure Michigan, right? I love it. I love it. Pure Michigan. Oh, you guys are great. Oh, thanks. You made me great. Thank you. Oh, man, thank you. Thank you. 
I love you guys too. But that's you know, and like uh, I look Matt forward. just said something, so I'll bring that to a second. Oh, first off, I don't know if you've ever joined our our podcast, so thank you, uh, Berlinda. Thank you for uh, oh, thank you for you. joining in. Yeah, what are you smoking on, Dab and I'm. Yeah, and if you and um, Matt actually says he loves five star extracts, and you know I'll get into that because like I do like true true north and stuff. Uh, in some different brands, but that's what I was going to say. Sorry, is like dispensaries sorry, don't matter as much. Get to know your brands. Ask who grew the flower. You know, a lot of times they're like, oh, I don't know. Ask. Be like, ask your boss. <laughs> oh, speaking <laughs> of that, did you, know did anybody see from? the viral video of that girl bud tender oh uh, that, like said, learn what you want to smoke and she got fired from her job that, like, day after the video went viral? Because... It's not just about high THC. Yeah, but dude, she su- I mean, listen, I'm she not was gonna... she was rude, very rude. Well, as that's... a butt tender, you cannot be that rude to somebody coming in, right? Like it... what? Especially well, in the le- in the market well, where we're changing, people don't know anything. So you got to educate them. You're the first line. You need to educate those people. Like that is so rude. I was like, wow, I could not believe that when I saw that. But that's just how it is, though. That is some dispos are like that. And if we can find that video, maybe we'll share it in our story later, either on Facebook or IG. Um, I'm blanking on who I saw it on, but uh, it, who was it? Who shared it? The Blacklist on yes, uh, IG? Black, that's who I saw. The Blacklist so me, on IG shared it, and that was... So my big thing is, like, if you're going to call people out and say, you don't know what you're talking about, high THC, and then say you don't even know Indica Sativa, it just shows that you don't even know what you're talking about. Because that's an older school mentality to even be thinking from that statement. You're like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You should know Indica Sativa. Clearly, you don't know what you're talking about. So <laughs> it's like, all you're talking about is where it was grown. Like, and all the and all the stuff nowadays is so crossed down and um, clown. crossed. <laughs> the sativa and indica is almost it, it's not washed, but, but that's what they're I was muddling try- it. It's so muddled. That's, like, that's why we say. talk terps. What are you going to insult people and then not even have good information? Like, if you're going to insult people, at least be freaking smart. Like, listen, the only reason why I respect Dead Mouse, you know, because. He's a fucking genius, <laughs> you know, because he, he can be an asshole. Like, yeah, he's you know got what good I mean? music, Don't, too. Well, okay, very talented <laughs> human being. But my whole point is, like, you can't just be an asshole in this life and then to be an asshole. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, unless you're trying to get clicks, like, which she probably got a bunch of views and a bunch of clicks on that video. So she probably got what she wanted. But, like, good luck getting, good luck getting a job at a dispo again. You know, I don't know. Again, that was a little tangent because yeah, like, I know, saw some that of those viral was... videos, I'm just like, that was stupid. Like, I had to bring that up. To mean. Had to bring that up. Let me hit that. Got some shit. lemon berry number three. Okay, okay. Hmm. I have not okay. had that okay, before. Nick. Sounds yeah, good as hell, it. though. A little bit of lemon and berry mix. Curious with the straight. Oh, you well, you used to get five star before there was. Where'd you? Oh, that's cool. I didn't. Even, that's cool. You cool. knew them before they like everything went legit. Nice. That's awesome. I want to share this, Drew, but I'm afraid it's gonna pull up like a giant picture again. He's uh, shared uh, Cresco Labs. Um, good news. Yeah. Brand expands to Michigan. Yep, because they so, are in Michigan. Boom, picture covering my face again. Hey. <coughs> How you guys doing? Hey, Cresco. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man. Too funny, too but, funny. Um, that, I, think, I think that's, well, going back to that story real quick, though, about the high THC percentage mm-hmm. and stuff, I, I think the industry is slowly going to start changing into, like, that's why I hope everyone listening, if you haven't been to our Terp Talk Tuesdays, please tune into our Terp Talks. We have been going through all the main terpenes from... Mercine, Limon, uh, Carefeline, all the way down to Boronol last last Tuesday. And we're going into terpenes that aren't so prevalent in cannabis, but the terpenes is where you're getting the aroma, the taste, um, and that's where you're falling in love with the strains, or you're not falling in love with the strains. I wouldn't say it's always based on the Indica Sativa. Well, I'd go that's with, the big thing. Is the like, I've you... had an Indica Dominant strain that... Well, indica dominant that made me a sativa. I can kind of <laughs> say that there's a couple different types of like reasons why I like cannabis. Sometimes it's because holy crap, that shit got me lit. And then sometimes it is wow, that shit tastes amazing. So I'm not going to say one's more important than the other because it's personally to me, I love flavor. Terps. I'm all terps. So you guys yeah. know that if you listen, but <coughs> the thing is some people out there with like extreme pains and then people that are just trying to get like, you know, litty. Those people might want high THC. That's what I was trying to say is, like, when someone's calling people out in a video, you can't say one or the other what's right or wrong. You know, I was just, it's it's an arrogant move. You know what I mean? It's a real, like, oh, look what I know yep. because I'm a bud tender. Like, get out of here. Chill yeah. out. I'm not knocking any bud tenders out there. I, I love, like, the bud tenders and the respect that they've been busting their ass and in this community even before, like, in the gray areas. You know, like, so I'm not knocking bud tenders. I'm just saying, like, don't be a loudmouth, mm-hmm. rude person about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Oh, Tim smoking on some, some Larry, Larry cake. cake. Nice. Is that mm. Larry OG, OG and some wedding cake? Wedding. I don't know. That's what I was seeing. You know what I saw? Someone said that wedding cake is actually the same thing as pink cookies. And I got super confused. And I, I, I have to do more do more research. If anyone knows anything about that, let me know in the comments. Because, like, yeah, someone was like, oh, pink cookies, wedding cake. And I was like, what do you mean wedding cake? That's a completely di- – I don't know, though. That's why I'm like, wait a second. I don't know shit about wedding cake. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure on that. I'd have to actually look it up. I was not familiar on that. I don't know. Yeah, no, I just saw it when I was looking up the genetics when I was right. looking up the Fuego stuff. Right now, uh, Timothy, we're smoking on Rainbow oh, Chip, chip. Uh, which is bred by Exotic Genetics. It's a mint chocolate chip crossed with a Sunset Sherbert. Um, really, really, really flavorful. Yeah. One of my favorite strains, actually, right now, I'd have to say. Flavor-wise. But I, I think I just like Exotic Genetics. Genetics. <laughs> Be honest. That's just, I don't know. It's got some good genetics, like the grease monkey. Good, like fire. <clears throat> you like that gassy diesel bonkers stuff? Oh, he yeah. has. He's got uh, he's got so many strains <sighs> out there that are just like hitters, like all of them. I don't even I don't even grow because there's too many of them, obviously. But he's just got so many hitters, man. So many, so I, many hitters, so many hitters. I would say though, going back to brands, couple couple uh, brands and concentrates I do like. I do like the five star extracts. I like the Monster X. Um, and, uh, what was the, what's that other one that we tried that I think we, lo- that I liked? Uh, I don't, usually you have the wax, uh, Kashuk Farms. I like his stuff. Oh, oh yeah. That, yeah. He's not in the, a lot of those, uh, oh yeah. See, John loves some wedding cake. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I dig it. I know Drew, if you're still listening, Drew really loves some wedding cake. That was a big fan of him. Oh yeah. That's his stuff, man. He loves the cakes, the cakes and gelatos. Oh, I haven't heard this strain before. To- mm-hmm. Top Topanga is that Topanga Canyon OG? What is in that? Topanga, Top- Topanga. You're making me think of Boy Meets World. Isn't that isn't <laughs> that how you say it? I don't know. I'm, I thought I think I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know shit. <laughs> like, yeah, Grease Monkey, excellent strain. Such gas on that. Love it. Love it. Absolutely. Hey, if you haven't it. tried Gas Monkey, okay, so. Uh, who's counting? Tim, Grease Tim, monkey. Tim. Well, I just want to make sure I'm talking to the right person. No, I said I was just making sure. I no, think you said gas monkey. monkey. That's what I thought. I, I don't know. It could <laughs> like, be gas monkey. monkey. Yeah, I know it's con- gas. I know. As far as I'm concerned, it could be. <laughs> no, but for real, if you like that gassy, like, um, I, I like a really, really good glue, diesely like flavor. Like you really love Grease Monkey. It's like. Mm-hmm. It's like on steroids. Like it's really good. It, it, again, if it's grown right. Phenomenal. And I've had some wax that's really good too. Oh god, yeah. So good, so good. Do you have any other uh brands that you, you like oh, or shops I see. you this go is to? Topang Topang Topanga, yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe it is Topang yeah, I mean I think <laughs> Topanga Canyon OG. Dave, what's up? How'd you do? What do you what, I like it? And thanks for tuning in. And I never also, heard of it, but I like it. Everyone tuning in, commenting, liking, sharing. We appreciate that. Uh, thank you guys for doing that. And if it's your first time uh, joining us, this is our Wake and Bake. We do a Terp Talk on Tuesday, and we release a podcast episode on Wednesday at 420, which is completely different content, and it has to do with just cannabis. He's Canada Dave. I'm Canada. Um, Groovy. I, I'm Canada Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pointing to the signs. No, I'm pointing to our, our logos. Oh, you got the logos up. I didn't even see right. that. <laughs> All right. All right. But... Yeah, no. I appreciate y'all just tuning in. And yeah, if it is your first time, hit that follow button, like button. Uh, I'm going to do this one last time. You can keep going. I'm sorry. I just have to say it. If you guys don't know, this is a hashtag we're trying to get going. And it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to White ash it. or trash? White ash or trash. Look at that. I mean, this is still, yeah. this is at the end. We're big it's on still the, white ash, man. Because yeah. I love a good cure, you know? Like, I like when it's cured. Yeah, I, you don't got to like, you got to relight it and... I, I, I don't like relighting it either. I agree with you. And I also don't like when the joint ash is just like black, <laughs> dark. It's like. Well, it usually doesn't mm. taste as good either. Like I, sometimes it associates. You know? Yeah. You know. Okay. That was a cut. Nice, man. Well, it sounds like it's uh Oh, uh, nice. Very good cut. No, he said, uh, Dave said, I'm not sure. It was just a slight cut. I was gifted. Though. Yeah. That's no, that's like, awesome. Man, that's cool when it's a gift too. Like, I mean, come on. Someone's giving you fire. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna actually look that strain <laughs> That's up. That's the man. best. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Isn't that the best though? When you're like low on bud, and then like your buddy shows up, and they're like, "I got weed." 
And they're like, you're like sick. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's just like a lifesaver. Personally to me, when I'm like, oh, I'm out of dabs and da- Dave does a dab a month. Like, and he's just like, oh, I got like eight pounds of dabs. Would you like one? I'm like, God damn it, dude. I'm like, no, like we'll get the same amount of wax and his will last so much longer. Yeah. But then like my weed will do the same too. And he's like, oh, I smoked that that day. I'm like, what? That was an eighth, bro. Like, you know? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I can see a that's lot like, of flour. That's like normal. Like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> just a little bit man I enjoy my flower I love my joints and I love it loving the tags John, Danny thank you White Ash or Trash I love my joints man. <laughs> no I just like felt like an awkward moment so I wanted to do it <laughs> Millennial Wasteland what's up fam what's up Brad I just love it IG I appreciate you being everywhere too why are no. cookie strains so popular? That's a great question. Um, I think a lot has to do with really good marketing, and they were ahead of the curve on creative these new like new exotic genetics and the way they brand it. Like, so uh, you you you've seen a lot of brands copy the whole look at our look at our uh, bag that you can open. It's br- and it's got colors and it's sh- colorful and it's really you know. Like, and don't get me wrong, like, I, I, I'll i knock cookies a little bit because of the price they used to do with the 65 eighth, but, like, the Gary, and since they lowered to 55, and, like, honestly, I love the Gary Payton. So, like, I do like some of their genetics. I can't sit here and be like, oh, they're trash, they're trash. Like, I'm not, they're not trash. You know, everyone's got their ups and downs. The yeah. thing is, I think they were just so good at marketing, they became popular first, and that's it. I Do I think well, they're anything you, so amazing? Like You got rap artists singing cookies in their strains, which... Took that off. Such good marketing. Um, That's genius marketing. That's the the subliminal messaging. And to the point that, like, now I'm going to listen to this song. How, what may, when, you, when you listen to music, smoking you want to be cookie. in that You want to be in that mindset. So they're like, I'm smoking on that cookie, right? If you're listening to me, goes, you're going to want to burn some cookies. It was genius marketing. So to mm-hmm. me, on it was a mix of, like, okay, he must have got a good master grower. Like, Burner must have got a good master grower that knew what's up. Created some cool genetics. It was like this, it's like, all mark- yep. and then the market. Well, no, yep. I mean, without the good content, or the good content, the good, the good product, they wouldn't have they, sold. They have but the good like, product, but the marketing, they're is the what one of the biggest them, brands that's got them going yeah. in all these states, legal. It's got yep. everyone that marketing. will stand in line, mm-hmm. pay 65, 70, and 8 for the product. I mean, you don't get, you don't have those strains, and people See? are ripping off those strains. Craven agrees. And Think about all the think about when we went to the high times and everyone was packaging runs before runs oh, of last year. We knew, we knew you know, and everyone's like, "Oh, we got legit runs." It's like, no, nah, man. You, yeah, you got two pounds of runs just <laughs> sitting there. Sure, that you grew. I I highly doubt that. Uh huh. And that was before. Just random that wasn't boost. last year. That was when events were actually going no, on. No, that was years ago. So, yeah, that was year and a half almost. It was a year and a half ago. Yeah, whatever. Too. Crazy. I can't remember if it was 20 or 19, though. That's no, well, it wasn't about. 20. There was no canvas events in 20. It was 19. Oh, hold on, hold on. Nick has a neat comment. I don't know if it's um, all going to pull up, though. It says, I don't know if you guys know about this, but I've been using Glad rolling papers. Glass. And- it's glassy. Put pe- oh, he commented, yeah, yeah, glass. Made, um, they are clear and made of uh, plant cellulose. Plant cellulose. Sorry, I got plant. <laughs> plant. And it goes, they burn well and don't run as much as regular papers. That's interesting. I'll have to, uh, you should drop the link in the comments. Yeah, dude, that's a good, yeah. I mean, have you, I haven't seen those It's going to be all. hard to switch me up off zigzags. I've been using zigzags. Well, I've been using hems for a minute. I've been, yeah, like, I've been on zigzags though for years. Well, I mean, even before zigzags, I was using raws when that little fad happened. Yeah. You know, like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. Just like the cookie stuff, just when the fad happened, I had to try it. But I mean, I was in California and I was in Maywood, so I was like, I'm gonna go to cookies. Like, this is where you go. You know what I mean? If I'm in this area, like, cookies up here is different than cookies in California, you know? Oh, you mean you got different growers? <clears throat> exactly. Different like, as growers. much as the genetics do matter a lot, like, if the grower is not as good or whatever, they know these little bits of secrets, like, those go a long way, as I'm sure every grower knows that's listening. Oh. Yep. I Definitely mean, marketing. I mean, what do you, I mean, Tim, what do you think? Like, I mean, have you tried them? Like, what do you think? Because at the end of the day, like, I've tried other genetic like, companies that are great, but they copy the same marketing plan, like Local Grove. Remember that Capillators cut? That's the, of uh, the, yeah, uh, the Mac 1. The Mac 1. Holy shit. That, that was great. Fire, dude. Yep, was phenomenal. Fire. Granted, that was Local Grove's most expensive stuff. I can't speak that their whole brand is amazing. But they had the bags with the pretty marketing, like the pretty colors or whatever. And then, like you said, they have advertising. They got I don't signs. Know if I like all the bags, to be honest. I think I like, like, I don't know if I'm all for the bags. I always thought they were less wasteful. I mean, granted, you can recycle feel, all I, of them, but I feel like because they're thinner, I thought they were just like cheaper. And then, like, yeah, I feel easier. like you're destroying the THC or the Terps in there. I don't know. I feel like it's just because it shakes around. I don't know. It's just plastic bag. I don't know. If so it, isn't it just a plastic bottle? 
I was thinking like a glass, small glass jar. <laughs> I like glass jar. <laughs> There's recycle. Well, I mean, like violas, they're nice, but they're also like you could. They're also a weapon. They're so heavy. Yeah, that is <laughs> like, true. I mean, you can knock somebody out. <laughs> like they're solid. They're a solid piece of glass. You know. Like, I mean, oh, okay. Again, like I can only pull up some of the comment if you want to read this next one. Uh, yeah, Matt goes, uh, for sure, you can get the packaging off the web. People would put other cannabis in there, in there and call it what, what it was or whatever yeah. they wanted to. Yeah, right, exactly. and that, that's exactly what was going on at the High Times Cup that one year because it was the first year that was adult use. I think people so do that everyone was just buying time, it. Yeah. You know, it just yeah, runs as the most popular thing at the moment. That's all it was. But that was 2019. It wasn't even strain of the year. <laughs> According to Leafly, that's hilarious. Most searched strain. <clears throat> I mean, I did buy some and grow some, so. The runs was good, though. I mean, it is a good strain. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, no, I mean when you, I mean you, when you grew it, and I actually tried runs. I was like, okay, like bucking runs. It's a very good strain. It's just that, you know, didn't know if it was real until I saw you. Someone bought the seeds and then grew it, and I was like, okay, that's clearly runs. <laughs> like unless <laughs> unless someone's lying, get online, but you buy from pretty legit seed places, so yeah, at least they seem legit. I don't know. No, nah, yeah, I only go, yeah. They've, they've been really good, actually. Tree Stars, you bank. Check them out. Tree Stars? Yeah. I don't know, like World Star? That's all I had right there. <laughs> uh, uh, if you're just tuning in, let us know what you're dabbing on, smoking on. Yeah. Um, I think I'm about to roll up another joint. Yeah, I'm going to take I'm going to get us some dabs set up or something. Yeah, take a dab of... It's uh, dab time. It's, it's about that time. My nail is a little dirty because I didn't clean it this morning because I already took one. But, like, my rig is cleaner. I cleaned my rig. Ooh. So, Dang, stuff in the nail game, was clean till last night and this morning when I passed out. Sometimes I don't clean every dab. I try to clean most dabs, like after with a little rubbing alcohol. But sometimes you forget. Oh, already with the jokes, huh, Drew? Yeah, baby dabs in the house. We're doing the baby dabs. That's my. He is nickname. in the house. It's it's my house. He is. <laughs> He's a baby dabs presence. Oh, baby dabs. Anyone else a uh, big fan of Ganja White Knight? Because I bought a plushie. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the worst and best buy I've made in a long time. Yeah, so Mr. Wobbles with us. That's funny. Shout out to my... I love Ganja. I love Ganja. We love Ganja here, right? Am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I love Ganja. If you haven't checked out Ganja White Knight, they're fire too, so... I would agree with that. We we saw hey, them at Forest. I seen them at Forest. Yes, absolutely. They're fantastic. Ah man, I want to go back. Good times, fucking good times. Uh, blunt man, time. That's where we're at. Blunt right time. Now. Yes, I like blunt time. Who's doing blunt time? Uh, John's doing blunt time. Yeah. Matt goes. I'm a baby dabber. Mom, thank you. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Because like to me, if I take a fat dab, like I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I need to pay like an expensive nap. Like no, if I just take little dabs throughout my day, I just keep moving and doing shit. I can try different flavors. Like you know, I can do my whole day. So I feel you. Thank you. Good luck, Matt. <laughs> Craven, my man. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say they're. I mean, they're not tiny here. I can pull up the canvas camera, or whatever. But like, I mean, like I said, you just don't. I don't want to take these giant fat globs that people are like, yeah, you gotta take globs or whatever. Like this isn't a competition for me. Like I just enjoy the flavor. Uh, marijuana. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. You can, I mean, you can see it's just a little live resin stuff. Terp sugar, terp sugar. I think it's not bad, man. It's a good size dab. I mean, right there. I wouldn't say it's like huge by any means, <laughs> but it's definitely like you know, it's a dab, man. It's a dab. It's a dab. Don't need to be anything. Do we want to? I think we should both do a one gram. I think you should do a one gram dab. I'd say both, but yeah, we should. Didn't we do? Multiple one gram dabs, yeah. Yeah, dude. I was gonna say we did that with the crit, uh, with the Chris, with the Chris, uh, with my buddy. Like, granted, I would say those weren't like the best flavorful dabs, but holy crap, they gave me lit. He just like a yeah. bunch of crystals. He just kept giving to us. He had like legit. He was spoonfulling us dabs. We took four. Way more. <laughs> I love him. Uh, me too, my girl. My way big dabbers. <laughs> big big dabbers of me. Whoa. So it's a competition in the household of John Day. That's <laughs> funny. No, I'm just messing around. That's funny. That's I totally awesome. get that. What are your guys' favorite type of dabs? You guys like the sugar? You like the diamonds? You like the sauce? That's a good question. That's actually a good question because I'm really into the terp stuff, like flavors. But, like, again, some people love that THCA shit. That shit will just, like, put you in, like, lock I like it down. sauce and rocks. Sauce and rocks? That's that mix. Yeah. That's that's what I always tell you. You get the flavor and you get the stream. Yeah. Dave's, Dave's like, I want it all. <laughs> I really do like terp sugar, I man. Do, ter- yeah. Well, 
again, batter, chirp sugar, sauce, those seem to be my favorites lately, but that's because that 60, 70%, like I said, with the smaller dab, I can just keep going, like, I'm I'm moving, like, these 90% dabs, like, I mean, even someone like me or you, like, it's going to put us down, like, it's eating, like, a, like a 100 milligrams of edibles, and you haven't eaten edibles, you know, you're still going to get messed up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, I mean, it's 99 or whatever percent or 90% THC, that's going to mess you up for sure, I would agree with you on that. Mm-hmm. Anyone dabbing out there? Anyone going to take a dab with me? Anyone want to take a dab with me? Well, us, I should suppose, because Dave's probably going to rip one after. Yeah, I'm dabbing. Yeah, I'm dabbing. I'll take a dab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, take a nice dab. Um, if you didn't check out our recent episode, we uh, we had Noble, Noble Road Co. Travis, the owner, came on. Uh, we learned about Yeah, Sorry company. about the mic issues. I don't know what happened. My mic had issues. But we weren't riding rocking headphones. Now we are rocking headphones, so yep. we don't we don't miss errors like that. So yep, we'll be back to that the headphone. Yeah. Um, well, until I get anyways, that behind the scenes crap we're doing. Just I want to yeah. apologize if you checked it out. My mic dropped out. Travis, this was great. Dave's was great, but we were having groovy issues. Yeah, so he was on talked about uh, where Noble Road is, uh, how we got into the industry. He brought five gram. Joints for us, they were freaking palm palm leaves huge. or whatever. Yeah, those things were potent, man. And it was good bud too. Like it wasn't like shit bud, you know. Oh, lighter. Sorry. Yeah, I was like, I thought you took my lighter. I did. I did. You gotta watch. You gotta Fog watch. Light. You gotta watch when you're around Groovy. I don't give don't ever give him your lighter, because I swear, he just he just takes it. And then like three weeks later, okay. you're like, oh, that's my oh, lighter. Oh, I've been looking don't, for that. Okay, hold up. Don't 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 <laughs> forget. Mind you, Canada Dave will forget a lighter for six weeks at your house and or. Multiple times, and then be like, "You stole it." Like, <laughs> no, no. This no, is no. entrapment, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not, uh, no, 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 no. It uh, is. It's entrapment. <laughs> give it to Groovy. He'll take it. And it's gone. <laughs> you suck. Uh, <laughs> it's all, I'm just thinking you suck. It's too funny. Yeah, it's too funny. Yeah, fun stuff. Fun stuff. And yeah, I'm glad everything's sticking through today. For some reason, you know, everything internet's good. Just a good day. I appreciate yeah. y'all being here with us and dabbing and everything. Um, if you're just tuning in, you know, obviously I'm Groovy. This is Ken Dave. Let us know what you're dabbing on, smoking on. Um, shout out to my buddy Eli Dayton and all of Squad Records for my records and more homies records. Um, local music, um, EDM, mix, not just dance. I put out some jazz stuff lately. Whatever, man. Music is music. Um, cool. Dab time. Yeah, take your dad. Yeah, turn. Be chiefing on this joint. Oh, actually, we're going to be live on Medical Mondays. This upcoming Monday will be live. I know they're live on YouTube. Uh, 9 to 11, we'll be on their show. They invited us on, so we will be on. So if you guys are up or uh, up at that time, 9, 11, I don't know. Some people, to me, I'm usually passed out. I, besides the Terp Talk Tuesday, it's like the latest I'm up there <laughs> during the week. So... Uh, come check it out. Cool, cool dudes, uh, Berg and Romeo. And I'm excited to be on because we we listened to their stuff before we even started the podcast. So we've actually, so they've been in the industry for a while. So it's very cool. We met. met Much them. respect for these guys. Yeah. Because we were like, oh, okay. We can, I don't, I, you know, I, I definitely, when we found them, we were like, all right, so someone's definitely doing it. So we want to do our own like swag on it, right? We want to do our own thing, you know, because they're doing our own thing. We went, we're not going to touch Mondays, you know, that's their thing. Yeah. So to be, you know, for Jamie and Jamie and um, Rick uh, of uh, the Jazz Cabbage Cafe, if you haven't checked them out, another cannabis podcast, but yep. OG activists in the game. That's he brought us Tuesdays. on and hooked us up with everybody. Such a cool community, man. I love the cannabis community because... I mean, you know, we're we're relatively new to the the podcast game cannabis. I mean, Dave's been in cannabis forever, but like these guys have been in the cannabis as long as we've been alive, almost. So much shout out to Jamie and Rick Thompson of uh, Jab- Jazz Cabbage Club, and if you haven't, like he said, Cafe. Berg and Rome. Sorry, Cafe <coughs> Berg and Rome of Mo- Medical Mondays. I think they're nine to eleven. Yep. Yeah, now so nine to it's eleven on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Yep. yep. So check them out. Just anyone in the community, man. It's all love, man. It's not a competition out here. I got my thing. There, we got our thing. They got their things. Go show them some love. Same thing with Adam L. Brooke, most entertaining guy. I, I think he's Mr. so funny. Mr. Hashbash. Mr. Hashbash. I love watching him at 10 a.m.s. Yeah, most that days. Is most days. It's at the Diag, so because it's just outdoors. So. <coughs> oh yeah. First Saturday in April. Yeah. If anyone knows, the outdoor event is happening. Like so. <coughs> 
it's not with booths or anything because that's not the hash bash. The hash bash is they're not. At that's the Monroe again, Street dude. Fair is no. Yep. So there is a difference. I I'm in the Ann Arbor hash bash group and I always see that question getting answered and so figure we talk about it real quick. But yeah, that's in a month, man. Because you know we're done with February after tomorrow and then we're in March. So hash bash is in like a month and a week. About what thirty five days? That's crazy. That is crazy. The year's already flying by. I'm happy. I just can't. I, I just want. I can't wait to go to like Canada. 2020 events. was a, such a hell of a year that by the time I got to 2021, I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, John, when is it? Oh, jeez. I think it would be day. April 3rd. It's the first Saturday That's in April. That's what I'm trying to remember. It's usually the first week in April. Yeah, yeah first, first weekend. Saturday. First Saturday. Yeah. See, I've only gone. I've, I've gone to three now. I don't we, know. I've been to uh, throughout we went the year. year we went to the year after it just got legal. So uh, well, that's when you and me went. Yep. I've been a couple times before. No, that's that, what I'm saying. That's at the least most two or three times. One. So I've been there a handful of times. I really enjoy it. Like I have not been there from the beginning, but you know, especially because I did move out to Chicago for some years to do school and stuff. Finish school, I should say. So, um, yeah. Oh, hey, that's awesome, John. You hear? You see what he just said? He said, "I've never been to Hash Bash, but he's not going to miss this one." No, it's like, Nick. Oh, Nick is the. I'm sorry, guy. I thought this was the same person. Oh, John said, "When is this?" Damn it! Sorry, my screen is farther away. Damn that crew! So that damn my, got groovy. <laughs> I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Anywho, anywho, John said, "When is this?" My bad. And then, um, uh, Nick said, "I've never been to Hash Bash." Well, it's definitely a cool experience, man. And it's all up to your comfortability with everything going on right now, too. But like, you know, yeah. it's it's outside, so you're outside. Um, that's my comfortability level. So yeah, I mean, if I don't I'm think they're go, advertising it or talking about it, but it's just if a lot of these events, man. They're uh, everyone's kind of like nervous with PR things, but again, it all comes down to your comfortability. And to me personally, like I've been trying to do like you know, I've been trying to really stick to only doing like outdoor gigs if they have like heated tents or if I, like when I was on the patio of a Magic Stick a couple times. Like I'm really not like and again like to each their own, man. Like event people are gonna be playing indoor gigs, people are gonna be playing having indoor events sooner or later. Like it's you know it's all about matter of opinion right now, you know. But outdoor outdoor stuff, you know, is gonna happen. Like outdoor yeah. stuff is gonna happen. Indoor stuff is gonna happen. It's just a matter of time. So I mean, I just you know when I say outdoor, I feel more comfortable. You know, well, I plus, don't know. Plus, plus, plus feels, it's but. April and they're gonna be lift, lifting. Is there still restrictions in Michigan? I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't know what's going on. I just really then, know about the outdoor there's stuff. There's gotta be stuff lifted. Yeah. Probably. Anyways, my whole point is it's all about your comfortability. If you're comfortable with being outside around people, then definitely check it out because like I I love it. I'm enjoying it. You know. Yeah. Um. You're gonna make you're gonna make this one, John. Hell yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Because honestly, that's really cool. Um, have you ever been? Because I'm getting like it feels like you haven't, but I, I'm trying to kind of like again like I'm mixing up now and Nick and John, Nick and John. <laughs> so no, I just want to make sure I'm talking correctly. But um, it's sweet. It's and again, it's kind of like what you make of it. Like it was a bigger deal, probably or not a bigger deal. It, it is a. It was much more fun a few years ago, and you can like hit dispensaries and dispose of running deals, and there's lines out the door, and it was like you know, because I love that stuff. You know, I love that you know, people with people mm-hmm. feeling, you know, music festivals and all that. But like, um, I don't know. I think it's gonna be different this year. But at the same time, like it's still gonna be well, the same vibe. I hope because I everyone should doing- probably just gonna be with their own little. Household. Yeah, I think they're still doing something virtual too, like they did last year for oh, it. Oh, cool. But um, I'm not not 100 percent sure. Uh, I want to go back to Dave's comment up here, and he. Uh, oh, I see. Nick Nick said he moved up north from Howell. From Howell too. So you uh, saw a dot all ever go now. I mean, hey man. I mean, if you ever have the time off and you just want to come, I mean, I'm telling you, it's worth just checking out. Especially maybe not this year because it might be a little different. But when the Monroe Street Fair and everything's coming, man, make make try to make the trip because it is fun, man. Yeah. It Especially is like the, it's yeah. a cool experience, man, to just be everyone openly, just like you know, outside and just doing it. Especially like when it first started because it was mainly just medical. It was super weird. And then me and Dave went the first year. It like just went legal right before that. Mm-hmm. So it was uh, super cool. Super cool. So yeah. if you ever see it, if you ever can work on your schedule, try. 
That's all I can say. <laughs> and Dave, I, I'm glad you got to the page on time. I'm glad you made it here this morning with us. On Dave the actually page. said, yeah, he's he, he's giving a big I wanted to go of... back up to his one comment that he said a little bit ago. So thank you for tuning in, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's funny. And then he said back in the day, he also said back in the day, it was always April's 1st. Okay, last time I Full was there thing. was in the 80s. See, that's how long it's been going on for. Oh, it's been going on for like since like what, 70s, 60s? i not 60s, sure. Dave, do you know? Cause I'm that not would be... exactly sure the exact. Because think about it. I mean, that's older than us, man. Oh, crazy. Crazy. That's awesome, man. I love that, that, that it's been going on that long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean... That's the thing. The whole, uh, man, it's just so messed up how much shit cannabis has gone through. Uh, I think we're going to be there, John. Yeah. I, I I mean, I, I plan on it. Like, I always yeah. plan on it. Like, I mean, if life circumstances happen, like, of course, you mm-hmm. know, life is life. But, um, yeah, I plan on it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. You'll see this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, we always say, like, I don't know. You, even when I smile, you'll see. <laughs> Nothing. Just less of my eyeballs. I uh, know I hate it. And you already see when I'm smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh man, you know what? This has been a fun little chat today, man. Thanks for. But big see, I can't on. wait for stuff like that because I I want to be able to actually meet you guys too in person. Yeah. Actually. So man. that's gonna be very cool. So once events are actually open, John, I can't yeah, wait yeah. till they have more events. Events. Be there, man. So it'd be freaking sweet. I just can't wait. Again, like I said, I, it's hard. I, I, I want to talk about subjects like about events and everything. You know, we can get deep into it. And I have my own feelings and you have your own feelings. And everyone here has their own feelings. You know, it's just like at the end of the day, it's all up to your own comfortability. You know, I feel good. I felt fine. 1972. With okay. 1972. 1972. So Thank this, you, Dave. Wow. So next next year is going to be the 50th. Damn. That's crazy. Fun fact today for me from Dave because I did not know that was the first one. I I did not. I don't even know if I actually knew. <laughs> like to be honest, I don't know if I ever thought about. Oh, let me load you up with a dad, bro. We just got caught up in caught up in this conversation. I forgot. No, no, I love it. It's all good. Good conversation. But I will take a dab though, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you would. Line me up with them baby dabs. <laughs> Line me up. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, let me go grab my mirror. Wait, 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 wait. THCA crystals, right? <laughs> yeah, no, dab me up. I'm sorry, that was a. Oh, that's stupid. That was an '80s joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, too mm. funny, too funny. <laughs> like, I uh, if you guys are just tuning in, let us know what you're smoking on, dabbing on. I'm about to be dabbing on. What am I dabbing? Classic roots. Yeah, it's just uh, glue. It, it's a, it's all right. Like I said, so I actually I thought the pink cookies was better. Like this out of these two, but like I'm getting like can't really just compare two kinds. I, I might try their stuff again, but this is the classic. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, like I said, I'm letting, I'm gonna see what you think. You know, we'll do the pink cookies later, but I just did that one, so I was gonna see what you said. No, oh, no, perfect. Uh, uh, Dave just said something too. No vendors. Can you see that? Can you read that? Yeah, no vendors. Just people bring their stash and everybody share it. Yeah. Well, that and that's kind of how it was. Like, I mean, even when I first went, that's how it was when it was all medical. I mean, obviously there was like some dispos though. I mean, so well, it was medical, a little just different. When it was just no. When I went first time, I went to the and our hash pass. It was just medical, and like the dispos were having deals and stuff. But like, and it was pretty packed. Like, it was busy as just as the year we went. Like, so that's what blew my mind because how cool Ann Arbor was about it all. You know, because they really were, like, abnormally way ahead of the curve, Ann Arbor in Michigan. They've you been know doing what I mean? it since, what, 72 then? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, and that well, that's what I'm saying. They're way ahead of the curve on all this, which is crazy. I didn't even think that 72. I'm just saying I, they were ahead of the curve even in my mind just doing hash bash is what I'm saying. Like, the whole mentality. Since they were doing it since 72, that just blew my mind is what I'm saying. Like, it's a very fascinating event, you know. And what's cool is yeah. – uh, Wayne County, or not Wayne County, uh, Washtenaw County, where Ann Arbor is, I believe it's Washtenaw County. Um, they're not, the uh, county prosecutor is not going to prosecute for uh, psilocybin either. So yeah, mushrooms, yeah, Mushrooms, yeah. uh, ayahuasca, and I forgot the other one. Oh, well, but that's, that's they're, they're ahead of the curve, so I do like that. Is what yeah, I mean, and honestly, I don't know. I mean, Ann Arbor seems like a cool vibe. I've never lived there. I never went to school. Hey, there he is. What's up, Josh? What's going on? My man. Good morning, my dude. How's it going? What's good, dude? Oh, uh, Dave's about to rip a dab in 50 seconds. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Countdown. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Definitely about to rip this dab. Yeah, hell yeah. 
Anyone, hey, you're just getting what you dabbing on, what you smoking on, man. Honestly, anyone else just getting in, I saw a couple people just join, just like let us know. You know, I love it. And honestly, the hey, uh, was Thank it you, Nick, Nick or Josh? Thank you. I can't remember if it was Nick or Josh, but someone was talking about the glass papers. What was the company, or like, what do you know? Because I'd like to look into that. Like, we might, I might go to a smoke shop like after this and literally check out some stuff. Because we were talking about getting a, a new rig, anyways. But we'll we'll talk. But I just I wanted to like I just want to get our new nail. I mean, but um, yeah, I'm cool with that. So we will figure it out because I well, just we actually see do want to we actually do want to get a rig though. If anyone's out there, we did talk about this. We had a, we got a couple people we're reaching out to. If anyone other has any other local glass blowers, we're looking to get like a custom rig. Mm-hmm. For our concentrate review, so we'll be uh, talking about the rig all the time. Go ahead. So, okay, that's my dab o'clock. Oh, sorry, peyote and masculine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I also think DMT's in that as well. Like, I think any any hallucinogenic drug in Ann Arbor is like the lowest <coughs> like priority or something. The wording was different, but I remember it was like lowest yeah. priority or something. Very cool. It's like all right, right? It's nothing like crazy. I mean, we, I want to get into an official <laughs> review by any means, but it wasn't like my favorite because I guess mean, they well, told me this was a glue, so I was like, "Eh, is, does it taste like glue?" I was like, "Man, kind of." Like sometimes, fifty fifty. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It was like fifty fifty. It was all right. You know, I don't want. I want to. I don't want to dig into it or say anything positive because it was all right. Um, but for the price, it was, it was a deal and a half. I was like, I told you, I got it for like thirty bucks. <laughs> what am I gonna say? You know, you, I didn't spend. That's not bad. Eighty dollars, you really feel ripped that, off. Yeah, you know, like, you know what I mean. But uh, uh, yeah, peyote and mescaline. Yeah, eat some cactus. Boy, I love I'm it. Spray. Everything's I'd going. Cool, we should be able to use all different types of plants and medicine. Plants, yeah, I mean, it's a I cactus, mean. man. Like, the way you eat it and you trip balls. Like, whatever, man. Some people eat spicy food and get gassy. You know, <laughs> spicy food. Down with spicy food. Like, That's true. <laughs> like, That's relax, true. man. <laughs> I just, I just get so it drives me crazy that it's like we have so many issues in the world, and then people or any people, meaning you know, government or whoever it may be, you know, want to control people. Like, chill out, man. We already got enough problems. We like the world, like you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. Anywho, I'm getting into my hippie rants later, but you know, like, chill. Let's 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 show some let's show some love, you know. You know. So I love cannabis, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. So much more peaceful when you smoke. I it. love ganja. Yep. Oh. Bring him back his plushie. <laughs> I'm just going to put him behind me today. Hey. Mr. Wobble's joining us because <laughs> uh, we love ganja here. Yeah, so, he's on my, it looks like he's kind of on my shoulder almost. I sat up a little bit. What's up, guy? He's like my parrot. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That is too funny, uh, man. Yeah, too San funny. Pedro. I, I thought it was San Paulo. Isn't it? Or I th- guess it could be San Pedro. I thought it was San Paulo, but may- I, again, I'm I'm could be totally wrong. Like because I've seen, well, allegedly, I've seen <laughs> a lot of cactus, so I've only seen it around. Uh, but I, it's actually very fascinating to me because like I've never like done a full trip, and it's like seems fascinating that just like a cactus will make a trip again. Like it's the same thing with mushrooms. Mushrooms are wild, so it's like you know mm-hmm. I'm glad. And and because of the uses like on small dosages for PTSD and all these other like ailments in the world, like it's just like cannabis. It's like if it's used in the right settings and like you know, it, it's a great thing. I mean, yeah, sure. There's a couple you know bad birds out there that made cannabis look bad. Same thing with mushrooms. Same with all these yeah. like drugs. But at the end of the day, it's like these aren't the ones that are like killing people by the the loads of people. Like, you don't hear of, like, masculine overdoses every day. You know, that heroin, <laughs> opiates. That's yeah. where you hear, the like, the overdose. So, to me, it's like the people, That's the so drug, the war on drugs here. have been focused on the wrong drugs for too many years. So. Oh, it's been failed. The drugs have won. <laughs> the war on yeah. drugs. San Pedro and Peruvian... Torch and Bavolian Torch are the three. Okay, okay, so it's San Pedro. Maybe that's what I saw. I just I saw a foot of cactus, and I I thought it was Paulo. But anyways, I don't know. This was a while ago. And yes, Josh, hippie rants are are important. I agree. <laughs> See, you know what I mean? Because I love the world, man. It's like I love it, but like, you know, I'm also like, geez, shit's crazy. So you gotta like have be secure and have a camera. On. <laughs> like, like well, life's wild, man. Like life is wild. Yeah. Oh really uh, hey, I appreciate you saying like don't forget to drop a like because honestly, Dave's right. Dave's cra- it's crazy how much like just a share like on Facebook will get us like us so much more reach. Like like yeah. 
it's so because like it's even crazy like now that we we were trying to like go live through Groovy and Canada Dave's pages too and everything, but then we were noticing Facebook didn't like that anymore. So we're like, we don't know how to make the Facebook God happy. <laughs> like we don't know what to do. And the only thing that seems to help is the interaction with these comments and the shares and like. So that's why like I it's so funny because like. People cool. always joke and be like, you know, when you're on YouTube, like, smash that like and subscribe button. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of corny and cliche, but please smash that <laughs> like and subscribe button and share that shit because, like, it's the only way I get content. Because you'd be surprised. Like, sometimes I'll post a picture and I'll get, right. like, 60 likes, like, right on my, my Groovy page. And then I'll work months on an EP and then you get, like, three. And you're like, damn. <laughs> it's just the reach is so crazy because Facebook just knows you're sending a user to another website. And it's like... They're like, oh, fuck you. And we're like, oh, fuck us. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I guess. You know? Pretty much, pretty much. And oh. Morning Monster, thanks for tuning in, hey, my dude. What's up, dude? What's going on? But yeah, what whatever Groovy just said, I uh, second all that. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm familiar with Palo Santo. We have some of that wood stuff downstairs, but like that little the wood burning hippie stuff. Uh, I love that too. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying. All these yeah, I names I get up, mixed yeah. up. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of funny, though. They're sacred plants. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great way to look at all of them. And honestly, they've been around forever, man. Thousands of years. You can just throw a seed in the ground. You're just going to grow, man. Like, <laughs> you're not doing anything. Like, granted, we, we took that's it, so we've taken it to the next level. But, but, yeah, well, absolutely. Well, I know, but I mean, I, I, I got it. <laughs> but I, I was trying to make a good analogy, and you're like, it's a weed. Duh. Oh, damn it. Shit on my parade over here, Dave. I ain't shitting on your parade, man. I ain't trying to. I'm not shitting trying on to. my parade. I think it's raining in your parade. Well, <laughs> shit on my parade is pretty bad, too, though. I mean, don't, don't shit on my parade. So. That's actually probably worse. Mm-hmm. I can deal with the rain. <laughs> That's funny. Shit, no. No, no, no. Oh, well, anything last, again, big shout out to my dudes at Squad Records. I know I put, like, I don't know, a bunch of tracks out on Squad Records. Um, S-K-W-A-D Records. Um, my homies and I and and um, Eli Dayton. So on the intro and outro music, just want to say some love for my music homies. Obviously, big shout out to everyone here that came in and commented and liked and did the whole, you know, and just kind of talked with us, man. I love doing this. This is like one of my mm-hmm. favorite times of the week. Like, yeah, I love it. Like, don't get me wrong. Works. Like, we do the podcast and we do the Terp Talk. And like, you know, there's a lot of prepping that goes into this stuff. But like, this stuff is like, I mean, there's prepping for this too, but like, this is fun. This is so much fun because we just get to sit here and smoke and chit chat with y'all. You know, yeah. we kind of have a couple topics and we just kind of free form it. I love this one. So, again, if anyone smokes weed and like that, like, likes waking baking, you're like, they're at home, just let them know that we do this. Cause I'm telling you, man, like, just the couple people, especially right now when we're trying to like get some of these companies to work with us, man, they want comp, they want these huge numbers. And we are just me and him. You know, it's just me and him. Like, there's no, we don't have a marketing team. We don't have, you know, we're trying to get to that point of capital so we can hire people and, you know. We're building, man. We're building. That's what I'm saying. There's just that smash that like and subscribe <laughs> So, uh, it's fun, though. You know, like, we're dead in there, bro. So, and I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. So, Monster, I love and appreciate your concentrates. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, yes, dude. The Flashback Friday, man. If you didn't check our post, well, when we were in Traverse City. We met up with yeah. Monster X, David. Check My it dude. out. Love their product. Always have talked about it. Yeah, um, absolutely. We had a we had a blast, man. Yeah, honestly, and it's so beautiful up there too. Like, Dude, blast so hanging beautiful. Out with you, but I haven't been so up there in the winter ever, so I thought. And that was John, thank cool. you, man. Just saying, having a blast getting faded listening to you is awesome. <laughs> man. My That's man, why, like, I, I mean, it, it really it means a lot. Like especially all in you asking like questions about dispensaries, like this this means a lot because like you know it means a lot to me. I don't know, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I appreciate you like. Chitting and chatting with us, so <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, no. So appreciate the love, everybody. Um, if you haven't checked out our episode, our episode was uh, released Wednesday. Yeah, it's with Noble Road Co. Travis, the owner, talked about a lot of different things. Check out that episode. This upcoming week, we're going to be giving you guys a review um, on a new product that we're testing out. So uh, new concentrate. Give you a uh, sneak peek, and then a week after that, we have. Our guest, which I'm excited to finally release, which is Nick T from California, solventless expert in rosin and bubble hash and everything. This is a huge episode. It's uh, so to fun. me, he, he, history and the conversation, like again, OGs in the scene, like yep. this guy is on it, dude. 
Yeah, so Nicotine. He that's started. He Mark's started. Hash rising, like pretty much. Like I don't know. I he started to coin the term. Yep, he did. Solventless, he did. which is crazy. Like because I've I, we've been calling it solventless for you. I don't know. It's crazy. The bubble so, hash. The, it was the, cool the, the bubble. The oh, bubble Dave, dabs. that means a lot, man. I, I appreciate that too because that's true. That's what we're trying to do. And honestly, build the community. And the numbers will follow. That's what I tell Dave all the time. I tell Dave all the time. <laughs> so I know. I feel you, dude. And then honestly, and Danny, yeah, dude, rock on. You too, man. I appreciate again. I just appreciate everyone coming in. And I honestly seeing people come back is like we're. I love it, man. Creating conversation in the scene and having you guys talk and communicate, you know. And if you haven't joined the My Cannabis Group, we're probably gonna change the name soon. But join the My Cannabis <laughs> yeah. Group. You can upload cannabis stuff or art or whatever you do, man. We just like seeing like what people do, creativity, yeah. like again with your growing new techniques. You know, I like music, so music techniques, whatever, man. Just mm-hmm. share in the comments, share in there. We appreciate y'all. So. Yeah. I don't know if you got anything left, man, but that's all I got. Check me out at Groovy Music, two E's, no Y. Groovy Music, all socials, and Groovy on uh, all streaming platforms for music. Uh, you can check me out, Canda Dave, all socials. And uh, you can find us at my Candacast on all socials, all streaming platforms. Hit that subscribe, like button. And uh, you guys have a great weekend. Uh, we're pushing out uh, some content for you guys this week as well. Yeah, so check it. out our I socials. And uh, see you guys on Tuesday or next Saturday. All right. Peace. Later. Oh, oh as, ed- o- yeah. <laughs> as always, we're here to advocate. Educate. And inspire. Peace. Thank you, guys. Peace. <laughs>